What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to kind of lock down your phone so that if you let someone borrow your phone and you don't want them to get into anything else, this is going to stop them from doing that. Now, you used to be able to set up guest accounts on Samsung Galaxy phones. They've since removed that feature. I'm not really sure why. Um, it was a cool feature. You could set up a guest account and they could, you know, kind of pick and you could pick and choose the kind of <clears throat> what apps and stuff they could have access to. But now it's not that great <laughs> because we don't have that. So let me show you the little trick I'm gonna show you and then we'll go from there. So the first thing you wanna do is swipe down from the top Click the gear in the top right to go to settings. Once you're in settings, go down to biometrics and security and select that. And then you're gonna see next, we're gonna go into other mobile, uh, other security settings. So select other security settings and then go down again until you see pin windows. Tap on that, make sure you turn it on. And then also, um, when you do turn it on, just to walk you through it a little bit, what the way it works basically is, uh, it's super simple. You turn it on, which we just did. You open an app, and then you tap the Recents button, or if you're using gestures, swipe up and hold from the bottom, and then you'll see all your apps. And then you tap the icon above the app, and then select the pin this app. You can do ask the pattern before unpinning if you want. Uh, which I would do that, or you should be able to use your fingerprint sensor as well. So I'll show you what I mean. So what we're gonna do is hit the home button here. All right, so go into your recent apps, and I have mine up, and what you're gonna do is press and hold on this thing right here, these little things here, not the window itself, but right here. So I'll, for instance, do the Play Store. Maybe I only want them to go into the Play Store, so I'm gonna press and hold that. And then you'll see pin this app. So if you pin this app, and you can see to unpin this app, touch and hold the recents and back button at the same time. I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see I'm in here. I can jump around, jump up your seat and get down. I'm in here, I'm looking around. I'm like, you know what? He's not looking. I'm gonna hit my, his home button. I'm like, damn, back button. Nope, recent apps button, nothing. I'm gonna turn the screen off and uh, see if that works. Nope. I'm back into this thing. So in order to unpin this app, what the person needs to do is press and hold the recent apps and the uh, back buttons. And it says app unpinned, but they can't get in without my code. And if they know my code, they can get in. There's nothing to stop them. Um, or you can put the fingerprint and ultimately then you're back in, you hit the home button, everything starts to work again. So it's a good little way to keep your phone secure and kind of stop them from doing anything else. Even if you get a call or a text, they cannot get into those things and do anything. They literally can only be in the app that you've locked them to. So it's a cool little feature to keep your phone secure if you're letting somebody else borrow it uh, and let them only be in that specific app. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.